Now let's say we want to give this square a border. All right, so it's a red square. Let's give it a black border, or what's called stroke. All right, so right under where we created the rectangle, uh, we want to use that same object, CTX, and we can give give the border a color, just like fill style. We'll have uh, stroke style, and let's set that to black. All right, so again, this is just setting the color. We haven't actually um, gave it the border yet. To do that, we want to do ctx dot um, stroke rect. All right, and we're going to pass in the same exact uh, parameter values as the rectangle itself. Okay, so if we save that. You can now see that it has a one pixel black border. Now we don't we can change the, the amount of pixels. We can make this thicker if we want. To do that, right under where we declared the color, let's say CTX dot line width and let's set it to three. Alright, so now the border is, is now thicker. All right, so let's go take a look at our, our logo. All right, so we have the red square with the black border. Next, we want another square that's all black. All right, so let's go back here and let's just add a, so a comment here. Say red square. Whoop. Say draw red square. Now we want to draw black square. All right, so same idea. Um, let's just copy this here. We'll copy the fill style and the actual drawing, the fill rect. All right, and we'll change the color to black. And then the position we want to we want to make this a little different because we want it to be moved over. Want it to be moved to the right and down, just like this. All right. So in the parameters, let's change this. Let's change this to 40, and change this to 45, and we'll keep the same size. Okay. Check that out. All right. So it's down a little bit too far. So this this parameter. Let's actually make this 40. All right, that's good. All right, so there's our squares. Next thing we want to do is text. All right, so underneath our black square, we'll say uh, draw text and take the CTX object and let's um, let's set the font so we can say dot font. And we'll set that equal to 30 point Ario. Okay, so that's just going to set the font. Next, we want to fill it, and we're not going to use. You could use just a, a solid color, but I want to kind of show you how to how to do gradients. All right, so we're going to make the text a red and black gradient. Um, right, yeah, so we'll just say create gradient. All right, and to do that, we're gonna we're gonna create a new variable, and I'm just gonna call it gradient, and we're gonna set that equal to ctx dot create linear gradient. All right, and that's gonna take a couple parameters. Um, let's see, the four parameters are going to be the first one is going to be the x coordinate of the start point of the gradient. All right, so for this, we're going to say zero. The next one will be the y coordinate of the start point of the gradient. That's also going to be zero. And the next one is going to be the x coordinate of the end point, which is going to be equal to the width of the canvas. So we can get that with c dot width. And that c is coming from up here 
uh, is coming from the canvas elements width. All right, and then the last parameter is going to be the y coordinate of the endpoint, and that's going to be zero as well. All right, so now that we have that, we can use that gradient variable. All right, so we'll say gradient dot, and we're going to use the function called add color stop. And the first parameter here is going to be uh, it's going to be a value between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 and it's going to basically represent the position between the start and the end of a gradient so for this we're going to say 0 and the color we're going to use here is going to be red okay I'm just going to use the, the word red and then let's uh, copy this Okay, so the next color we want to use is black, and we're actually going to use a 1 here, and then change this to black. Alright, so that creates our gradient for us. Now we can actually um, we can fill the text with the gradient. And we can do that with ctx dot fill style all right so just like the um, just like these the rectangles we use fill style and let's see we're gonna set this to just gradient right to the to the variable gradient all right so that's setting that the next thing we need to do is actually draw the text and we can do that easily with fill text Alright, so the first parameter we're going to throw in here um, is going to be the actual text we want to show up. So we're going to say my company. And then we want the x axis position and then the, the y axis. So we want, we're going to move it down to 100 or over to 100 and then down 80. Alright. So that should do it. Let's check. All right. So there's our text, and you can see we have this um, horizontal gradient effect it goes from red to black. So that's how you do gradients as well as text with Canvas. All right. So the last thing we want to do is very easy. We're just going to create a line uh, that goes underneath. Also, I want to I want to uh, give the Canvas a background color of light gray. All right, so we can do that easily um, through CSS. So up here we have our canvas element. Let's just set the background color to light gray. Okay, so the line. So we're going to go down a couple notches here. And we want to define our line properties. All right, so the first thing is going to be the color or the stroke color of the line. So ctx dot uh, stroke style. And we're going to set that to black. All right, and then we're going to um, actually, yeah, that's going to be the stroke style. We can also set the fill style. So ctx dot fill style, and that let's set that to red. And then the line width. So you can see we're doing uh, basically the same kind of stuff we did up here with the rectangle created the fill, the stroke, and the line width. So line width, and we're going to set that just we're gonna set that to 2. All right, and then we want to start to draw our line. Uh, so what we want to do here is say ctx.beginPath. So basically, begin path is what you want to use when you want to start a new line or um, a new image or whatever. All right, so begin path, and then we're going to say ctx dot move to, 
All right, so move to isn't going to draw anything. It's going to simply move your cursor or your pointer or whatever you want to call it to a certain position. All right, so let's move it to uh, 90. So that'll be 90 on the on the x axis and then 90 on the y axis. All right, now what we want to do now is actually draw the line. So we can say ctx um, dot line two. All right, so line two does basically the same that move two does, except that it draws the line. Move two does not. So we want to draw it. Um, let's make it 350 on the x axis, and we're going to keep it at 90 on the y axis. All right, so we, that's going to make a straight line. Then we want to. Whoop, I'm going to say ctx dot stroke. Okay, so that's going to draw it for us, or complete the, the drawing for us. And then we're going to close the path. So ctx dot close path. All right, so let's save that and take a look. All right, so you can see that it started from 90 from the top, 90 from the side, and then went 350 across. All right, so that is how you use shapes, uh, strokes, gradients, text, and lines in Canvas. Um, in the next video in this section, I'm going to uh, just show you how to do some very, very simple animation.